Hey guys, my name is Zabo and welcome to The Zabo. And today we're going to be reacting to The Year of Yes, the repackaged um, Twice album of, you know, Yes or Yes. And basically the two new songs or the two songs that they have on here is The Best Thing I Ever Did, which is the first song. And then the other one was um, BS1. Yeah, that's the that's the song that I'm going to have to skip is it's called BS1. Because my idea was to do the Japanese version because I accidentally reacted to the music video one, which is the Korean version. But as I saw that the Japanese album was getting blocked a bunch of times and um, Cloud literally did so much editing and it still didn't work. <laughs> and it's on the Patreon. So if you want to check that out, go ahead. But um, yeah, we're just going to skip that one. I'll, I'll listen to the Japanese version on my own. As I like the Korean version, I should like the Japanese version just the same. Like either one probably would be the same. you know. I'll I like you know both of them. Yeah. Without further ado, make sure to like the video, comment down below. Um, any like you know twice songs that you have as your favorite from any album or from this album, um, especially make sure to subscribe. Um, and also check out the community um, tab that we have now because we got to a thousand. Um, check that out for any um, schedule changes or for the schedule in general or just for any like, you know, sort of just announcement that we make on there. But yeah, without further ado, let me pull up the best thing I ever did. Okay, guys, I pulled up the best thing I ever did. Uh, yeah, here we go. From the thumbnail, it looks like it's going to be a Christmas song and love Christmas. So here we go. Without further ado, let us get right into it. Three, two, one, let's go. I'm already liking it. So far, I'm liking it. Like, talking about the best thing that I ever did was meet you, and then the best thing I never did was broke up with you and still stay with you. I like that, like, message of, like, Christmas and how I'm still with this person, even though the end of the year is approaching, and a lot of things could have happened throughout the time that we were together, you know? But we're still together, which is, like, around this special time where, you know, you should be together um, having a very relaxed and, you know, cozy time together. And I like that. And then I just love, like, the beat is very, like, Christmas-like, but it's very, like, just cozy. I like that. Here we go. Three, two, one, three. Let me pause again. And the vocals, too, are very, like, warm and very like light like this it doesn't feel like they're having to go all out and beyond which is what you is which is for this type of beat and this type of feel of a christmas song you don't really need to have someone belting like that it maybe in the background towards the end of the song you can have that but i like how so far it's cozy like a camp like a yeah campfire fireplace type um feel like, you know, you in front of a fireplace. I like that. Here we go. Three, two, one. So 
We got reindeer. Aww. When did this come out? 2018, December 12th. Okay. at the end but i just wanted to say i really like this melody I like out throughout the whole song was just the same kind of um warm cozy feeling they didn't go beyond like you know above and beyond with vocals like you know someone belting like geo or nyan or jung young like belting out a note maybe i think maybe one part of the song like i was really like lost into the warm feeling like like just it's such a great christmas song for like chilling around a fireplace or just chilling around you know around december time and this will be definitely going on my christmas playlist like i've never really had any other songs on my christmas playlist but now that i've gotten so much into k-pop and i feel like i'm gonna really get so many more christmas songs recommended to me around december time like old ones and ones that are going to be coming out um can't wait to add them all and really have like a very fun Christmas listening to all these different Korean Christmas songs. I love it. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. I'm just going to go to the next video since I already gave my opinion since the video is about to be over. So it's from their, this is their third special album. Okay. Yes or yes. Okay, I'm going to pause it. I have seen this already. I'm not gonna even you know try to be like oh never no I've I've seen this already I just wanted to say I love this song this this is to me up there for one of I think Twice's best title tracks like up there to me to me up there with more and more um I really love Dance the Night Away and this one and oh, I love TT a lot too. There's so many good title like tracks from Twice. It's so hard to pick, <laughs> but I, I've already heard this. But I love it. So here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. I love this song. Though. <laughs> this Taxi driver, Junior. Welcome to Twice Square. Hey boy, look. Every time she says this, I'm like, oh my. You. you got two choices. Yes or yes. And then they're all just like witches. Hey. Oh, I, love, I just love this like back and forth with the song. I just love it. Tell me yes.
Yes or yes? I'm gonna pause it. I didn't realize this, but I, now that I'm like reacting and actually making videos on songs, I really notice more that I like how this is going back and forth, like almost giving you a choice of like, like the choice is like, or like that part. Like I kind of like how it's actually using that like choice um, within the song itself too. Like, yes or yes. Dun, 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 dun. Like that part, I love it. I love it. I never really noticed that until now when I'm actually reacting, like where I'm like, oh, yeah, they do that. Here we go. Three, two, one. The chest pop. Yes or yes. Yes or yes. I like how the song is just talking about you have two choices of yes or yes like you can't reject me you can't say no and it's like and then if you there's a maybe no I say no to maybes like they're allowed to say no to maybes you have to make it clear that you want me and that's it. You can't say that you don't want me. You have to want me. And there's no maybe. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Simple. Y-E-S. Reject your rejection. Huh. I'll take a, I'll, I'll take you all twice. It's fine. I would never say no. I would never say no. Let's just move on to the dance video for the last video for this part. I got this in. I won't lie, I like how this is like an actual kind of more of a realistic dance practice than a lot of dance practices that I feel like K-pop, I feel like dance practices have become more of a, like a more of content themselves. Like it's almost like a separate like dance performance at that point. Cause you know, you see them wear certain clothes now. Like this one to me is a realistic dance practice. They're in sweat. They're in like, you know, a comfortable shirt. It might be cold in there. Or it might not be as cold, like, you know, to some people. It just looks very comfortable. Like, they don't like to have makeup on. I, I like it. I like this. So, and I also wanted to check out the choreo because I haven't seen it in a while. So, here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. You got two choices. Yes. Momo needs to stop. Hey, hey. Mm. 
Come on and tell me yes. I love that too. <laughs> oh. hey. Yes, sir, yes. Oh, I like that effect. I like how they all like, you know, fell down at different times, like a domino effect, I guess. I don't know what it is called in dance, like that effect, but maybe like a wave. I think I've heard like it's called like a wave or something, but I don't know. I'm just going off of what I've seen from other like actual pro dancers and their reactions and the words that they throw out when stuff like that happens. I, I, I try to try to remember like that. So when I react, I can kind of give my thoughts about it, but I don't know. Like I said, leave that leave that to the dance reactors. They they know way better than I can. But I, I like the effect of that. And I just like how um so far like the song is like you know, it's like yes or yes, but they do like two different actions and with two different groups, like at the um, beginning with um with Jung Young's part with her foot kick, how some of the members were doing it and then other members did it on the second part she started singing. And then they kind of all fell down together after, you know, it was asked. Basically, like, the question was asked. So, let's continue. Three, two, one, let's go. I'm, I'm loving the dancing so much. You better tell me, yeah. Oh, you better hurry up. Yeah, that's the part. No, it's to the song in a while. That's why. I mean, I just heard it, but still. I love this foot part. I love, I love this leg part. This leg part is so dope to me. Simple Y E S. Hey, I love this part. Hey, yes, oh yes. Yes, oh yes. Yes, oh yes. Oh, I like that little circle formation when they fell down like that. Hey. It's all up to you. Oh, okay, so that's how they end it. Without further ado, let us get right into this. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Bro, why is Mina looking like that? I'm sorry guys make sure I can see the glasses fogging up here we go let me just run it back here we go three two one let's go
Okay, so, so far, basically like saying you got something that I want, many. You got something, I got something that you need, which is I think is the love part. Basically saying, I got, you got many, you got so much love for me and I have so much love for you that you need it. And you got something that I want, which is your love as well, which I think that's what they're talking about. But also, I, I like how I've noticed this, but they always give Sana, when Sana has like ad lips, it'd be the cutest ad lips. Like it's not like something like vocally like impressive, but it'd be something so cute. It's something so unique just to Sana. Like I feel like she really has some cute ad lips. Like every time, every time I mention Sana's like little ad lips, I feel like I am starting to notice that she's, she usually is the one that does it. And if he's so cute so far this song i'm liking it like the say you love me part and i love the beat and the vocals here we go we got to get to the rap part here we go three two one let's go That's how it ends. Okay. Okay, I like the song. I like the beat. I like the um the message of like say you love me. I need you got something that I want. Many I got something that you need. Like, you know, the whole love thing, like going back and forth with it. I liked it. Um Yeah, that's all I really have to say about that. It's just a very cute love, you know, love song. But I say it's my favorite, not my favorite twice love song. But it's a very good song, so nothing wrong with it. Um, yeah, let us just continue, and we're just gonna let the song play out, and we're just gonna continue to the next song. Got two more songs for this part. Have la la la, okay. Oh, is it this song? Hey, wake up! Yeah, I knew it was this song. I've heard this in a, was it the previous time to twice? It, it was, it was a time to twice. It was an intro for a time to twice. One of the two, but I've heard that part. Like I saw the, Hey, wake up. Like I heard that part. I didn't know Mina did this beginning part. Okay. That's dope. Here we go. Three, two, all let's go. I did. I, I, when I heard the little bits and pieces of the song, I loved it. Baby, baby, sing this is a melody. 
I like how the I like this like really beat like this like funky kind of beat, and then I like their vocals. How like very high pitch in the range for all of them. I really like their vocals in this a lot. It's just like so it's so dope, and I just like um I think there's an effect on their voices which really makes it sound really like like out of this world type of um the effect with it and I like it a lot I was I'm I'm trying to pay attention to the lyrics but I'm so like like having a good time just bouncing my head like this so here we go 32 on this one. Oh yeah this is the part where you kind of like can't Oh, and that's how it ends. Uh, I was expecting like a little bit more, but I like it how it just ended like that too. But I also like how like this is kind of like a, I guess hanging out with someone that you love or friends. Or, you know, the one that you want to, you know, have a party with just by just you and them together. Yeah, this is a nice, like, like little like party song that you would hear on the dance floor that I feel like anyone can have a fun time with. Yeah, let's continue. We're going to go to the last song for this part. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Let's see what this last song is for this part. What's it called? Young and Wild. Let's see how this sounds. Okay, the English just threw me off for a second, but not like in a bad way, you know, like, okay, talk your stuff in English. Tell us, tell us why we should just live young and wild and have a good time, Mina. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, let's go.
I'm gonna pause it right here. I know I haven't said anything, but I like how like the message is just like, just kind of live your dreams and just run with it. Don't let anything stop you. Just run with it and just, you know, just go with it. Go with it, whatever you think is right. And almost like, you know, like a wind, just like almost go with the flow with that type of thing. Go with the flow since, you know, since, you know, we're all kind of young and wild, just go with the flow and have fun with it. So I like that. I like that. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. That was the end of the song. Okay, well, I saw, I like the song. I like this song. Three, two, one, let's go. No, oh, it give it's giving me like a disco vibe, like you know that like kind of disco vibe a bit, but also like um, yeah, like a disco vibe. That's really what I'm trying to say. And do I like it? I'm not gonna lie, I'm not feeling this twice song at the beginning. I probably need more listens to really give it like, a like you know be like okay yeah I'm starting to enjoy it. But that's maybe because. I won't lie, K-pop has done a lot of, like, disco type vibe songs a lot, like, for this year as well. Like, this year has been a lot of, even, even compared to, um, even compared to what I was listening to, to try to catch up before I started recording, you know, on YouTube, there was a lot of disco type songs that I listened to before I started recording, not just from Twice, but from other groups as well. It was, like, such a disco like period where like a few of the comebacks all together had like disco vibes and i'm like i like it i like it i like it but when you started listening to it a lot more you're like oh I've, I've kind of heard this a lot lately it's a bit different from the previous disco but it's still disco kind of vibe so i need, I need to listen to it a few more times and give it maybe a break and then come back and be like oh yeah this is this is hitting now but so far, I'm not. Gonna, I'm gonna say it's not hitting for me at the beginning. But 
I, I I can feel like I can feel myself like bobbing to the song. So as long as I'm bobbing to it and not making some ugly face, I feel like I'm gonna like the song. But here we go, three, two, one, let's go. Okay. I do like this ending part where they're kind of all together singing. But I still, like like I said, I still need a few more listens. The vocals never, never can hate on that. The vocals are always good. Like the part with Nyon. And then I think it, it was either Gio or Jung Young singing in the background of Nyon's part. Adding more, um, just adding more like, um, like power with it. So I liked it. I like the vocals at least. And like um like the vocals in the little like background afternoon. Not afternoon, but afternoon. But twice is beautiful. Look at them. Oh, this is Sano. Oh. I'm liking the song so far. I'm liking how like chill, like um, I don't know. I get like kind of beach vibes at nighttime, where you kind of just like this was reminding me of like you're missing someone on the beach. Like maybe you went somewhere for like a trip by yourself or you know girlfriends, and you're there alone on the beach where like you kind of miss that significant other after maybe like the first time you're away from someone and you just really miss them 
Uh, this is what I'm getting, like, that type of vibe. I don't know. I pic That's what I picture. But that's what I like about, you know, music, how you can picture anything and how um how you would view this song in your own eyes or your imagination of what you think the song is about. Just from, like, the beat and the vocals and the lyrics itself as well, too. But, yeah, there we go. Three, two, one, let's go. such a beautiful song like that's what i was just picturing in my head like that missing someone like like how like the you and i you and i like that part i love how it was descending into like i'll always be by your side like but in my head i'm picturing like more of a maybe beach or at nighttime you you know look out and see the moon and you just you know how they do it in shows and so you see that person's face in the moon like or the memories in the moon with that person and you're like missing them but you also know like i will always be by their side when i return from you know wherever like that's what i'm picturing in my head when i think about this song and just the beautiful vocals and like the beat too that like it gave almost like a wave type of vibe like the ocean or you know like hearing the ocean i don't know that's what i got that's what i picked up from the song i liked it though i really enjoyed the song and it's something like something i feel like i've heard in other k-pop songs this kind of vibe but in a different way i liked it i like the name of the song too after moon <laughs> so it fits so here we go three two one let's go let's get into the last song Gio all of them so good oh yeah bdz so this is the korean version of bdz so i guess this is kind of like my reaction if if you like if you don't check out the patreon to see my reaction to twice's um um bdz um japanese album um this is i guess this is my reaction to the actual bdz song but the korean version so here we go three two one let's go JYP? <laughs> Every time this man inserts himself into the salt. Like, like a tank, like a soldier. Let's go, let's go. Like the tank, like the soldier. Let's go, let's go. I don't 
don't remember the lyrics being like that. I'm going to destroy your heart. I'm going to take all away your heart. Like I said, I enjoyed the song on my um, Japanese reaction of the song. And I can I can hear the differences when I hear them. I'm like, okay, but in Japanese, they said it like this. So I'm hearing that part right there. Like, you know, which I do enjoy. Like, I love when, you know, you hear the differences in Japanese and, and Korean. So far, it there's no, like, different sound changes. Because some, like... When I say like sound changes, when I was reacting to Dreamcatcher's Japanese um, songs, there was a part where it was completely deeper and a lot, and I would say a lot cooler than the original. I was like, "Oh, this is dope," and I and that's why I'm like I'm like trying to listen out for any like parts like that because that that really changes the song up for me when you heard the song many times in like you know Korean. Will it be different from going from you know? Japanese to Korean or will it has the same like sound that you heard before in Japanese and just be basically the same song but in a different language which is Korean so here we go three two one go. let's go let's go Like a soldier. <laughs> I got nine hours like this part there. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go, let's go. She said like a bull doesn't like a tank. She gonna charge into your heart and take it. Yeah, that's basically what the song is talking about. Just coming in, taking your heart, taking it all for herself. That's basically what the song is talking about. Like I said, there was not many differences to sound wise for the songs. So, yeah. Overall, this album was great. I love, you know, Yes or Yes. You know, favorite song from the album. And La La. La La La. And I, I would say this BDZ Korean version too. Cause even though it sounds basically the same as the Japanese version, you know, two different languages, I know that, that they're different. I'm just saying it sounds similar. But um, I still enjoy this song a lot. Like, it's such a great song. But um, yeah, let me know which, what are, um, what is your favorite song from this album? And yeah, I really enjoyed this album, like I said. And hopefully you guys enjoyed my reaction to each of the songs that were in the album, except for the one that I was trying to do the Japanese version because I messed up. But yeah, without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy it. I will see you guys next week on twice friday with a um time to twice get back into some more time to twice and react to more of those so yeah i'll see you guys later bye